Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vandy as well, back another Thera booster set reveal video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's show you. This time we are starting off, like I just said, with the booster set reveals for Thera's first ever booster set, booster set 01, The Gathering of the Nations. This booster set takes the cards from the Trials song, enhances them, gives them more power, but also creates five new songs for each nation that can be used either in tandem with those trial songs or be made into a completely different song of its own. So all around, they're pretty fun to play. So let's go ahead and get this one started, shall we? With, in my opinion, probably the most fun to play, even though it is really gimmicky, and that is Gamble. So Gamble is a song that is for Arizon, and it either gets stronger or weaker based off the concept of luck. A lot of people that play card games don't really like RNG that much, so I probably just made a lot of people click off the video immediately from that. But for those that chose to stick around, Gamble does get stronger as time goes on with each booster set, but in booster set 1, obviously, with his first set of support and his only set of support, and only getting the generic cards from the Trial Song, is obviously not going to be at its best state. So for Gamble, as every card with Gamble states, when its Gamble goes off, either by being placed, or when attacking, or some other effect or requirement, you send the top card of your opponent's song to the drop zone, and you have a chance to get them closer to a song out, while also pulling off the song's gimmick. And for most Gamble cards, based off of what that card is of one of two options in the case of hot guesser who we'll go over later in this video it's a spell or trap card if the card is of a specified type like i just said spell or trap for hot guesser then the gamble is successful and then the ability continues however again for hot guesser let's say it was a spell or trap card if the card sent is not one of the specifications in this case it would have to be like a creature or a rune or a trigger then the gamble is considered failed and the effect does not continue so for some people the gamble can be really effective and you get a lot of benefit out of it and resources and pressure but for others, uh, it may not get you the same benefit, and instead you might end up just having wasted resources because the gamble failed. Again, it can be a lot stronger based off of your luck, and it can be a lot weaker based off of your luck. And that's really mainly how it is in set 1. In set 2, it gets so much better, I tell you what. But we're focusing on set 1 right now. And focusing on set 1, let's go ahead and get our first reveal out of the way. And that, of course, comes to the ace of the gamble song, and that is Flaming Gambler Priscilla herself. Like most gamblers, she's a human. She is also a level 3 with a gift icon, meaning when she attacks, you can pay one to reveal the top card of your song and, you know, add it to your hand or deal damage if it's a trigger. If, well, in that case, if it's a damage trigger or draw card, if it's a draw trigger, heal damage if it's a heal trigger. She has 200 power and one base damage. She has a triple rare and she has the second card in the booster set. And for her skill, Gamble, pay one. When she enters the field, you send the top card of your opponent's song to the drop zone like most Gamble cards. However, this is where her effect differs. For most gamble cards, like I said earlier with Hot Guesser, they tend to give one of two options for the ability to continue to go off and make the gamble successful. In Priscilla's case, instead the gamble activates based off of what the following card type was. So depending on what the card sent to the drop zone was, that ability will go off. So if your opponent sent a creature to drop zone, you get to draw two cards. If they sent a spell, your opponent discards two cards. If it was a trap, your opponent takes two damage. And if it was a rune, you get to heal two damage. All around is a very powerful effect because it can either increase your hand, make your opponent lose hand cards, make your opponent's damage zone increase, or even help you recover damage in case your opponent's going on the attack on you. And the only way Priscilla's Gamble actually fails is if your opponent sees a trigger from it. All around, Priscilla is a very powerful creature. She's an on place, granted, but she can go toe to toe with a lot of base uh, with a lot of powerful creatures with her base power being 200. And not to mention the fact that her gamble only costs one pay to use. I mean, you can use a lot of different spells, runes, and traps in the same turn and still be able to use uh, Priscilla's skill pretty effectively. And again, because her gamble will almost always go off as long as your opponent doesn't get triggers, you are getting some form of benefit out of Priscilla's gamble succeeding. And even if your gamble does fail, that implies your opponent lost a trigger in their song, which is all around pretty powerful. All around, Priscilla is a very good creature and she is a nice three of or two of tech in any other song but she is obviously a four of staple in an actual gamble focus song due to her versatility and ability and her base power then, of course, we have Hot Guesser, who we mentioned earlier. She, like Priscilla, is a human, is a level 1, has 100 power and 1 damage. She has a shield icon, meaning we can use her to defend if we really need her to, if she's in our hand. And then her gamble ability, like Priscilla, is a pay 1 when she enters the field and sends the top card of your opponent's song to the drop zone. However, like most gamble cards, unlike Priscilla, her ability is based off of if the card sent to the drop zone is one of two items. In the case of Hot Guesser, if it's a spell or a trap card, 
the gamble is successful and you get to draw a card if it's a rune trigger or a creature like we mentioned earlier the gamble is a fail all around though being able to draw a card if your opponent sends a spell or trap to the drop zone is pretty solid because a lot of songs want that defensive power from trap cards or want that versatility with spells so you're most often always going to hit a spell or a trap meaning you constantly get more hand cards and if you're like my friend oolong who end up playing three hog guessers back to back it can help increase your hand while also putting your opponent a lot closer to songing out than normal and it basically means you get to force out a lot more offensive pressure without losing too much deep pressure in your hand and also just because i went over priscilla's rarity in set number earlier uh hot guesser is uh, card number 28 in the set and she is a rare around the hot guesser is a pretty solid level one and like priscilla she's a nice uh tech in any other errors on song she's because of her draw ability she's a nice three over even four of tech also because she's a level one but in a gamble song she's definitely a four of as well like priscilla simply because she can help increase the hand and without further ado that's going to be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed this is a very fun song to play and as we do more reveals the rest of them will hopefully be sh youtube shorts and they will not go in too much depth about the card's skills or their versatility Utility, but you will get the general overview of the card in a very shorter amount of time but hopefully this set a tone for those reveals and hopefully all of you enjoy them and hopefully they all go well so i'm gonna this one here i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe uh join the discord follow the twitch go check out the Thera channel subscribe to it. it's in the end screen that will appear in the last 10 seconds of the video or go check out the description because i'm pretty sure it's in there too and yeah that's it for this one and so don't forget to check us out